Uh, welcome to the official IBO press conference after men's sprint here in first week of November. With us, the winner, Simone de Tio France. Uh, Simone, first win in the World Cup after five second places, I think. <laughs> This is big. Can you just tell us about the emotions? Because it's a big moment for you. Yeah, it's a great moment for me in my career because I ran for that since a long, long time now. I was uh, often close to the victory, but never did it. And today uh, it's done, and that's uh, that's fantastic to to cool to do that. Uh, not a lot of emotion today, less than in uh, championships in Popluka after a silver medal. But just uh, very happy to to be here today. And what what went well today? Even your last loop was really, really strong. You had many close competitors behind you. Yeah, for sure. I, I did uh, full races for me, clean shooting, uh, good at the end, uh, good, uh, good shape, not at, at my best, but uh, okay to, to be on the top. And that's uh, the most important, I think. And as you, you mentioned, your silver medal from Pukliuka, It's in a way in a very unusual season for you. You have two really high highs, and especially the beginning was not as stable as we are used from you. Is this something you planned for this season to pick later on, or why do you think it, it turned out like this? No, the beginning was not easy for me. Uh, I had not, sh not a uh, good shape in December, better in January. Uh, I always uh, run to be better and try uh, at home to to progress and to keep uh, the best. And uh, super happy to cool to do uh, two things that uh, I never did. Uh, it's a medal in championship and a victory in World Cup. And just uh, happy about uh, these two things today. And tomorrow will be another thing you've never done. You will start as number one in the <laughs> pursuit. How will you prepare for this? Or there is nothing special? Nothing It's a new situation. Yeah, nothing special for the moment. Uh, for the moment, I just leave uh, simply the, the moment to appreciate the, the good performance in the sprint. Tomorrow will be uh, another day. We will uh, see, but it will be for sure a, a real uh, fight with uh, all guys because it's uh, really close. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks. Second place went to Sebastian Samuelson of Sweden. Sebastian, it's a second win for you, fourth podium. Can you just take us through, through your race today? Uh, yes, I think I, like everyone else, felt a little bit tired, uh, mostly mentally after the World Championships. And uh, I was a bit unsure before the race. and. Uh, But I like these conditions like there was today and I fight and I heard directly that my ski time was good. So I asked to focus to hit the targets and I'm very happy that I managed to do so. You mentioned tiredness and mentioned tiredness. So what can you do in such a short time to find new motivation? You've had many very hard battles in, in Pokljuka. Yeah, I, I raced all the races in Pokljuka and uh, also it was very successful for me. So then I think when you get home, you you relax and you feel, oh, but uh, then after some days, then you start to think about the rest and uh, we are still three important weeks here. And for the first time, I have a decent uh, s uh, place in the total ranking. So I try to fight for every point and I'm very happy that I managed to take everything out from me today. We talked about Blue Beep just before you mentioned you have a decent place. In a way, it's a very unusual season because it's the blue bibs also fighting for yellow bib. Can you talk about this close battle <laughs> with? Yeah, I the think top? Al already f after some weeks in the season, then uh, I talked a little with uh, Johannes Bauer and so, and we said, ah, I think the fight for the blue bib is even more prestigious than for the yellow bib. And uh, ah, it's not, but I think uh, both uh, me and Sturla and the Dolle, we have been. Uh, Uh, performing very good and maybe even better than we could expect or anyone else could expect too. So it's just uh, cool to be part of this 
new young generation that wants to hit the older guys like Arndt and this year and so. And you have this um, capacity to really step up your game when you sense the opportunity. Is this something you are born with or it's something you can work on? I think I have worked a lot. I remember some junior world championships where I, you know, you come into the law shooting and you feel that now you can win a medal, but then I miss three or I miss two. And so I think in the beginning of my international career, I, I thought that I'm not so strong in these situations, but uh, I have uh, thought a lot about this and I have pushed myself to really be better in these situations. And now I have confidence in these situations because now there were so many times where I was on the last shooting and uh, fighting for something really good and I managed to do it. And uh, that's of course gives me confidence for the future. And Johannes scored, let's call it a blue, blue beef generation, like a generation of crazy guys in Pokljuka, ready to attack and risk everything. Are you preparing another, in Johannes' words, crazy attack for tomorrow? I think it's, uh, I, I'm not this style like uh, Yakla or these guys who just come in and shoot in 18 seconds. I, I think I'm a little bit uh, too afraid for that, uh, but I try to push myself too to get closer to that because I think that is the future of biathlon so you need to always uh, be a, s a step in front and I think we will see more and more of that from uh, all the biathletes in the coming years. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. And third place went to Arndt Pfeiffer of Germany. Arndt it was a big battle you said it was fast today but you from the outside you really looked effortless today. Can you just talk about how you felt Yeah, it was about quite your fast race. conditions uh, and uh, it means you can push uh, on every uphill and on every flat part because it's so fast conditions. Um, but of course it's, it's really tough because uh, you can't rest for a second. You have to push all the time. And I knew it was close in the last lap and I pushed as hard as I could. And I thought maybe it's um, I can gain some seconds on the on the last part, but uh, Simon and uh, Sebastian they were faster than me, and so they well deserved uh, be in front of me. And it's your seventh clear shooting of the season. It's fourth clear, uh, fourth time you're clean in the sprint. Do you know at the beginning or at, of the day it will be such a good day? No, actually not. Um, the feeling, yeah, is not always right. Some I had, I had a lot of days when I felt good and had a bad race afterwards and the other way around. So you just feel if it's good or not in the second loop. I think the first loop is always, yeah, you look and try to push and in the second loop you feel in, w in which direction um, the race is going. And today I felt in the second loop I still f um, felt strong and I could push and was um, yeah was concentrated on the standing shooting. I was not too exhausted, and yeah, I'm really happy to uh, to shot clean again because yeah, I need the 100% to be on the podium. Um, it's not enough to have 90% in sprint for me. It's for most of the guys. It's not enough. Maybe for Johannes, he can be on the podium with one or win with one, but all the other guys need a clean shooting. And you you mentioned podiums yourself before. You told us an interesting statistic that you are winning three podiums per season this season you're on five what <laughs> do you uh, ascribe this to yeah that's good to be above the average um, of course i had one season without a podium so but a normal season for me is, is three times on the podium and in this season it's um, the fifth one and yeah i'm proud because it's not getting easy, easier when you are 33 years old so um, you always have to to push hard and clean uh, shoot clean and it's tough to fight these young guys. When you are talking to like, as experienced athletes yeah. as you are, like Tarje or Jako, do you exchange <laughs> your experience how to deal with the blue beef generation? Um, actually, some, sometimes we talk about how hard it is <laughs> to fight these young guys, but I think on, on the track we are all the same. Um, so it doesn't matter if, if you are over 30 or if you are 21, it doesn't matter if you have won a lot of medals in, in the past because nobody cares and nobody waits for you because you're Olympic champion or something. So you push hard and fight for every place. And that's 
that's how I like racing. So it's not about um, what, yeah, what you have won before. So just push hard, and that's that's what what makes fun. Thank you, and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you.